Okay. Can you hear me? I oh, can. oh, you can. Okay. Awesome. Oh my God. So I had to go upstairs and um, I thought I could connect hotspot with my phone and that didn't really work. So here, here I am using the phone. Are you at the helicopter or at home? You're the hub house. No, I'm upstairs oh. at, yeah, at the space. So, oh, just trying to get this hooked up. Okay, how's that working? Excellent. Except, I, 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 can you come I closer know. or? Trying. There you go. Is that any better? Oh my goodness. Here, maybe I can put this up there. There, is that any better? Yeah. yeah. Framing. Ah. Whoops. Oh, did I what did what did I do now? I think you pressed a button that said stop video. I never did I. <laughs> That's funny. Just as you get it framed right, it disappears. <laughs> okay, no, I'm still there. <laughs> Hello. Can ah. you hear me? See me? Now I can. Okay. Awesome. All right. Okay. So how are you? I am good. Yeah, it's, um, it's just Lori and Kaylee and I at the office today. And um, we're just having a conversation with Kaylee because We've like Lori's hired her Kaylee as a student for us the summer student and with a grant. And um, we've we put down like 15 hours for Kaylee a week to work with Lori and then 10 hours at the hub. And um, Kaylee's just not feeling the hub right now because she's so used to working with Lori and having a lot of freedom and, you know, the ability, she's empowered to do kind of what, what she does. You know, right. um, Lori gives her guidelines and, you know, gives her projects and she works really well with that way. Um, coming to the hub, we've, we have these other partners that are really very, kind of structured and Kaylee's feeling that and just not in the frame of mind so like it's like I don't know if I want to be here right oh. yeah and so um I had a chat with because I I could tell that she is just not feeling part of it and yeah she just her heart wasn't in it and so Lori and I had a bit of a conversation and I said, this is what I see happening. We need to have, have a conversation with this gal. So she has an understanding of this whole process. And so that's what we were doing. And so Lori's just down there finishing that conversation. And yeah, I think we'll be fine. So it's, it's a little bit of Kaylee opening up and having an understanding of, say, the personality of, you know, Christy and, and Carrie and where they're coming from and all of that. So, I mean, it's a big learning curve for a 20 year old. Yeah. Right. Because I mean, she's been in this atmosphere with Lori and I, where we're, we're, we're pretty easy going. And then she gets pulled into another dimension and um, <laughs> yeah, so it, it'll all be good. Right. We just had to bring it to, to the forefront and get her, her mindset a little bit different. Well, was her originally, cause I had thought perhaps she might be one of the primary four founders 
and um, just just from the point of view that she was around so much and and mm -hmm. seemed to be very uh, supportive of everything, was that part of it maybe that she thought perhaps she'd be tighter and then these other people came in and now those people are the core and so she feels left out kind of thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. The, there's that too as thing. well. Yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah, she doesn't feel part of it at all anymore. Even though she, you know, we had brought her on board because her ideas sometimes are just unbelievable. And so, you know, that young mind, that young spirit, and then all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that can be very uh, disheartening, right? I mean, if, if, uh, things change and things change quickly as a result and you feel you got no power and all of a sudden if you're of that age it's it, it can mean a lot more than than is known to the outside world right you just feel mm -hmm. it very strongly so I can yeah. yeah I was wondering about that were you yeah like could you see something or well just that I I had thought um I mean, upon recollection uh, or just seeing sort of how it unfolded, I could see that, I mean, you four uh, women are at very, I wouldn't say the same state of your life, but you're, you're at similar places, right? I mean, you're, right. Ready, you're ready to full-time jump into this and you, you give you has a lot of experience in other areas. And yes. no matter what, she's 20 years old and she's not at the level that you guys are, but at the same time, she can be at higher levels in, in other areas that just as a result of, of being 20, right? I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's not necessarily a disadvantage. I mean, it, it's just the ages are very different. And I think that creating that founding team, I mean, it was a big decision to go with the four people you did rather, right. Than, right. rather than her being one of them, right? I mean, that, that at some point was a big decision in a sense. Yeah. And I can see yeah. why, but I can also see the effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just trying to iron stuff out and get a bit more, yeah, understanding and, and clarity. I mean, did was it brought up about the youth team? Because I already saw her sort of like leading and sort of promoting the youth team, the yes. Shirtless community, which has a, a huge function and role. Um, yeah. is, is she interested in that or she's sort of... Well, you know, I think... Um, Lori's brought it up a few times. So, I, you know, in conversation, she's, you know, shaking her head and yeah, right. But um, I don't know if we have a full buy-in with that, but I think I, she see, she sees it. Right. I think I should probably have a chat with her and uh, come from my point of view, perhaps. Um, yeah. A bit on the outside, right, but still involved. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, di different, you're, you're seeing it from a whole different angle. Yeah. Right. This whole process, how everything has come together and yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't hurt. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so, so how was your week? How some, your week? Oh, you know, it, it was, it, it's been really good. Like, I, I love coming to the office. I love the energy. I love the time that we're having at home. I sometimes wish I had more time because we're so busy or not busy, but we're really trying to get organized for our summer and, you know, camping and doing all of the yard work and doing all of that. So um, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good e e even spiel. Like the hours that I put in here are, are great. They're not early, they're not late. And um, yeah, I really have nothing to complain about. It's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> and, and your mornings, uh, I see you're being very diligent and uh, you don't, well, you, I think are you using StreamYard? StreamYard? I was, uh, I'm trying a bit of both. So StreamYard I was using because um, there were, Everybody was saying like StreamYard, you could see who joins up and, you know, comment and stuff. But now Facebook has a whole, whole new, they've really changed their um, live streaming platform a bit. So I'm just investigating that a bit more and seeing that. 
Yeah. But yeah, I am trying to be diligent. Um, Monday was a really hard one for me. Um, no, or was it Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Because I was up with um, a gentleman from Pakistan. And I want, because of the time difference, I wanted to connect with him because he was helping me with active campaign and the dare to be you campaign. And so I was up really late with him. And then I was up at five the next morning. And yeah. Wow. Um, do you have post-its and the value cards? Do you have the value cards? I have the value cards. I have some sticky notes, you bet. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a, a new map. Oh, awesome. Which is called the Life Manifestation Map. And I had a student who did this map with me just as a, a basic session. And then everything on the map came true for her within the next year. And so after that, she said, I want to learn what's behind this because um, it occurred. So from this one map, she manifested everything on it. Oh my God. Do you, and you probably have her in a testimonial video kind of thing, don't you? I don't have video testimonials of anybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have to go. Well, the thing is I had like, oh, it's a long story. It's a long, long story. <laughs> but you're doing this all yourself, right? So. Well, I, I do have a lot on the plate in terms of uh, what did you think of the survey? Actually, really good. It's not working, I don't think, 100%. Or the copy you gave me Did you get stopped? Been... Did you get stopped? No. Okay, you, you got through the whole thing? Yeah, like I, I could see the whole thing. But I'm thinking you sent me like an editable copy or something. Anyways, when I, when I went to answer some of the questions, um, it didn't really answer like okay i think yeah i think you got the like, i haven't sent it out yet and so that was the first time and i think i sent you because now i wanted you on the edible thing everyone on the edible side too so anyway i just got to figure out some things but i uh i went through it with kirsty and she liked it and it's something i want to go through with everyone because i think it's a big important step after the hub factor beforehand to do the survey then you get the info and then you can set them up for the first meeting. Yeah. Yeah. There is some, some notes that I wrote down too, but I can email that to you. Yeah. Okay. Instead of taking the time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This time. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So on nine post-its, write mm -hmm. exactly what you want. Like in a word or in like a <clears throat> no, sentence like or two? More of a sentence. More of a sentence exactly what i want so we kind of did a little bit of a list last week the seven lifetime goals yeah is that kind of what you're okay, that's more that's at your end sort of result okay now we're looking kind of like at the next year oh the next year yeah okay all right um and sort of write down nine i want you know da, 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 da. i want perfect health yeah. i want this i want that i want that nine okay. of them Shoot, you could have gave me that beforehand and I could have had that done. <laughs> True. That's okay. Um, so tell me a story then. As you go, you want a story? <laughs> sure. What's happening in BC? Well, uh, we're sort of locked down and <laughs> life has come to a grinding stop, I think. But it's hard to say because the, the weather's so nice. If you go outside, it's almost like you can just go out and you don't even know anything's going on, but definitely, yeah. I mean, I don't really want to get into my belief system on what's going on. I think, you know, I, I'm too political as it is. So I, I try to keep that away from biz, you know? Okay. <laughs> um, Otherwise I, I could go on a rant while you, while you're going. Oh, I'm on a rant. Are you? Oh God. So in Regina, we're ha there's a big rally. We have Chris Sky, we have Kevin. Um, 
Oh, we've got tons of speakers coming for a rally just to- And you're going up there? No, I can't. I've got, um, we have a Mother's Day event going on, so I can't, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm encouraging, because we rally here every week in Yorkton, but um, I'm encouraging everybody, to just head to Regina and go so there. So you go to the rally every week? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's it's interesting it's interesting um yeah we get fingers on some and we get honks on some and you know like yay for us but nobody wants to come out and how many and, people come out ah uh, we've had up to 50 oh, wow. yeah that's pretty good Yep. I mean, now that the weather is nicer, I mean, our last one was like 22. So it gets smaller. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess it's the same people, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I spent a lot of time in protests. I used to film them every two weeks in Victoria. And once, once there was a protest oh, awesome. going one way, and then there's protests going the other way. And just every every week there was a different protest they'd always start at city hall and then have speeches walk down to the provincial legislature have some speeches and then go home and i just i filmed them all and after a while it right. was like, there seems to be a pattern here <laughs> oh my goodness <sighs> canadians quite know like italians have a protest and there's half a million people you know and they're throwing cars into the river and they're making sure that people know how they feel but yeah in Canada we're we're pretty quiet we're pretty laid back yeah. um we like there's I mean you pro like a lot of the stuff doesn't get on the news but there's the church in Alberta there's a guy <laughs> that it has a restaurant in Alberta somewhere it's called the Whist he's he's on Facebook and That's he all. has yeah so they've locked him out and but nothing stops him. Nothing yeah. stops that guy. He is, yeah, he's really good. Okay, so one year, hey? Have you ever used a project management software system? As in like a social media project thing? No, it's like an actual software system that is uh, built for project management. Yes, we just signed up with Trello. Oh, shit. Why? Did you actually sign up? I, I think we have, but we might still be on the trial. Okay, good. Why? Well, I'm, I've, I've used Trello, and I, I know Kirsty uses it, but there's, yeah. a, there's another one called Rike, which is way more programmable with the inflow. Like, I'm programming it right now for you guys. Oh. Oh. It's... It's different because like you need to do, there's, I've been waiting for the software to catch up to what I want to do. And this, this one program now can do it and no other program could do it before. So okay, I, I want you guys to actually go on to Rike. So well, send it to Christy because she's yeah. kind of our tech guy, tech gal. And, um, oh shit. Okay. Um.
Okay, well, this, this one is kind of way out there. Um, Add, um, do we have a new person? And the repeaters came because they liked it so much? Yes. Yeah. Good sign. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The one one girl um that, that came, she she wants to be a part of it somehow. What that looks like, we don't know, but she definitely wants to learn more. And she would fit into the health area because she's really into natural healing and getting into plants and herbalism and and all of that kind of stuff so okay did you ever make that uh podcast of the the first one and have you been recording them no we haven't been recording them oh you haven't um, so we have next Tuesday, we have one. And then the Tuesday evening we would need, well, and, and we do, I mean, everybody that's new, we get their consent on pictures and videos. So, but what it would look like for recording, I, I guess we could try it and just see. Well, you've already, I mean, but, you, you know, a lot phone, of that's put your phone in the middle of the table. Very simple. Like, are, are you thinking, oh, use it as like not a video recording, but just a voice recording? Didn't yes, we have you? been doing some of them. I haven't got all of them, but. Okay, because that should be a protocol, right? Like a, everyone is, is audio recording and then loaded up to the podcast. Like that's a, yeah. it's one of the most important things I found is to get your content consistent is from the get go really value it like what you guys have there is gold and if mm -hmm. as more people get out there and hear it then of course they're going to be you know they want to sit at the table um, enticed right so uh, okay I, I guess yeah no i'll just just i guess i should probably come up with a list of protocols like a sheet for the hub factor that just kind of this is what has to happen um, standard so I'm yeah sure you guys are already doing it but just to make just to make sure because i thought that was happening but yeah like i don't think we've recorded it, every one of them but i do have some okay i do have some because i think remember okay. i sent you the anchor link um it's it's very simple like it, it'd be very yeah you can just load it and go pop from your phone right up to anchor and the, it's it's just very simple like oh yeah okay Okay. Okay, I'll look into that this weekend then. And and if you need, you just want to type and you need me to walk you through it or help you out. You know, I'll I'll help you out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. Three, four, five. Um. Jesus, this is taking a lot longer than than it should. Um. Not really. Not really. Um. Okay. What else? Oh, okay. How about, so what I'm putting down is mostly, mostly all related to the hub. Um, do you want me to do more, some personal stuff in there as well? Yep. You could do personal hub, a larger community world. Oh. Okay. Um, Um, not very inventive, but 
don't think I think wide enough. relationships, something to do with your spirituality, something to do with business goals, something to do with community interaction, something to do with your family, something to okay, do. Well, pretty well. Everything I've, I'm writing is like the seven. Same as the seven. <laughs> um, but it's supposed to be like within a year. So um, It's not easy for me. I can't think that big. Something to do with a habit, a certain pattern you might want to change in yourself. Um, something you want to feel more of. Something you want to uh, mm -hmm. master. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So each of these is on a different post-it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that one, and then this one. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so on the other post-its, uh, oh. another set of different color ones, if you have. Uh, right, nine, and or no, you could just use your value cards if you want. Uh, shuffle the value cards and put a value card on each of those. Put ah, okay. actually, sorry, create a map like this. Okay. And then place upside down one each want, and then shuffle the deck and randomly choose a value for each one. Okay. So do you want me to put the stickies on that or just draw that map and put yeah, the map? Draw, draw the map and then put the stickies on. Okay, I'm not sure if my book, no, not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna do it on the table. Put you up here. Oh, what happened? V have lost you. Did I lose you? Yeah, can't see you. What the hell? Okay, how are what you to oh, that's gonna just go upside down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just laying them on the table. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So now I'll place them. Do you have a piece of paper though that you can draw the map on that you could draw it on though? I do, but it's it's a smaller piece of paper. Okay, because um, you're gonna. Have I just to, have you, to. Yeah, you're gonna have to write them down. Okay. Okay, so place them down like that, and then put a value on top of each one. Okay. Um, and I'm doing the values divinely, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to choose nine values out of there and then divine. 
Um, no, let's do this. Awesome. Okay, actually turn the wands upside down so you can't see them. Oh, okay. And maybe shuffle them around so you don't know where they are and then do that. Yeah, I'm I'm I don't even know what I've got down there. I just stuff them. No. So I, I just randomly put them down, so we're good. Okay. Okay, so then on your piece of paper with the because at the top right is the light is the lifetime cycle oh this is what I'm doing. Okay, so the the top of my sheet is lifetime cycle. Okay, draw the draw the four lines. Right. And then the top right block. Oh, okay. Is the lifetime cycle. And so do you want to turn over what you got? Okay. Both the, the statement and the value. Yeah, first the statement. Oh, that's different. Okay. So the statement is to be a better conversationalist. Okay. And the card that was picked with that is loyalty. Okay. I don't know how that works, but okay. Okay, the next one. One below is yearly. Yearly. Okay, so that question is to have a loyal following and group that we can grow into a retreat in Costa Rica. So that's to do with the hub. And the card for that one is expansion. Okay. Okay, underneath that is a uh, seasonal. Okay. Okay, so another one to do with the hub. I want items streamlined and automated. So things just have to be tweaked and um, not created all the time, created new. And that one is detachment. To feel, okay. you know, okay, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Okay, then it to the left and it's lunar. Bottom left, I mean, bottom center. Bottom center. Okay, yeah, is lunar. Yeah. Okay. What you got? That one is, oh, website up and easily editable and passion. Okay, so it's that one. Okay. Next, uh, left bottom and it's daily. Okay, so the other left corner. corner. Yeah. Left corner. Oh, okay. So I want to earn at least a five thousand dollar a month income and excellence. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, the middle is uh, hourly. Eight. Ah, okay. To have more flexibility and time with my husband and to have my husband involved and even more semi-retired than he is. Okay. So that one is order. Involved in the hub, is that what you're saying? Yeah, or just more involved with what I'm doing, you know, more on the back end side, because he's not a people person, but somehow. Okay. Uh, the, now it's uh, left center, minute to minute cycle. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, okay. To have better control of my emotions. And the card for that is wildness. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, because I cry at commercials. I cry at the Waltons. So I'm just... <laughs> What's so bad about that? Nothing. My family, I'd be crying and I'd look at there, my sister, she's crying. I look at my mom and she's crying. Everyone's, <laughs> you think you're not crying, but everybody is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, left corner at the top and that's the present moment. Ah, okay. Oh, that'll be interesting. So this is a new kind of infographic style for the time translator because all the- Yeah. <clears throat> So you can use this map for anything uh, from an underlying point of view. If you just want to map something out where you want to look at the time cycles together. Actually, I'll send you guys a template for that. Um, okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so in the middle. Oh, oh, no. OK, what do you have at the present moment? Present moment. Yeah. Which one's that? Oh. Present moment. Yeah. Which one you? Oh, you're just reading. Oh, yeah. So to start. Oh, OK, so again, this is the hub and not necessarily me. OK. Good. Okay, to start a kids program that in turn turns into a school for kids and self to create self awareness and development, oh, wow. and that is a cooperation. Oh wow! Okay. Next center top is timelessness. This is the last one. Okay. Okay, this moves for me. To have a new program on mindfulness and nature. And the card for that is duty. Okay. Okay, so take a look at those what do you think of it overall actually pretty cool um yeah like when i went through you know some of the, some of my wants i mean like the five thousand dollar income excellence to value reaching the highest standards so that's good um website up and easily to value a strong or extravagant fondness, enthusiasm, or desire for anything. So my desire is to have that to a T. Yeah, no, it's all, really, I want items streamlined and automated detachment. So by having that, it gives me more freedom to, so like the detachment to value freedom from prejudice or partially or attachment to obtaining anything. So, if I have things more automated and streamlined, I can become a bit more detached from that and just let it let it roll. So, which is kind of cool. Um, to have a following that is loyal and growing because we want to hold a, a retreat in Costa Rica, probably in at least 
two years, if not maybe next year, um, expansion. So to value an expanded, dilated or enlarged portion or form of a thing. So that's exactly what we want. We want, we want to expand our, um, our following. Order to have more flexibility and to have my husband involved a bit more and so he can retire even more. Um, order to value a condition in which each thing is properly disposed with reference to other things and its purpose to value a condition to which each thing is properly disposed with reference to other things and its purpose. I'm, I don't understand that meaning very well. Wait, can you say that one again? Hey, it was order. Okay. And so it went with the question like to have more flexibility and to have my husband involved like more in the back end of things or maybe it's just more support and for him to be more, more retired. And the word was order. To value a condition in which each person is properly disposed with reference to other things and its purpose. So that one, I'm not sure, not clear. Um. I mean, what came to me was kind of like, what's his main interest or what's he interested in? Well, I mean, he likes outdoors. He likes tink tinkering. He's like a um, Tim the Tool Man. That's kind of like a, a reference I use for him. Does What does he like talking about? Um, guns. Um, he likes just kind of, he's kind of a, a rebel, but yet he, he really likes, um, so he's not a people person. And, you know, when he's with groups, he's pretty, um, you know, he's able to hold a conversation without any problems. But when, when it's just him and I, he's really talkative about, um, the planet Eber, is it Eberu, Eberu? And, you know, what's gonna happen when the shift happens and things like that. So he, he loves that kind of stuff. He has connections all over and everybody's, yeah, he gets a lot of feedback on the shift and how things are going to change and all of that. So that that's really where, his heart as right now, like we're, we're, we're preppers and we don't even know it. Oh, I lost you. I can't hear you. Can't hear you. I can't hear you. I, I can't hear you.
Hello? Hello? Okay, I can hear you now. Okay. Okay, so um, one thing to do, could you make a nice map? Could you write that out nicely, the map? Yes. Yeah. And just from last week, there was a few takeaways to write a sentence to look at what it means for your flow map. Did you do that? I started, but I didn't get it, get it finished. So I do, I've got that. Okay. And there's also, I said, create the first process to bring people in the hub. Did you do any work on that? So, okay. So what, what I had written down was print out print four, four sheets. Entries. And that's what you sent me, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I printed those out, but I was, I was unsure on what to do with those this was this the cycle of events activity conversation um it was four maps um i'd have to bring them up oh right 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 I, okay yeah did you so you printed them out yeah so i've got like four copies for everybody okay and can then I, can i see it I'd have to go downstairs and get it. Okay, it's, it's not necessary. Was it 11 by 17 or on eight and a half by 11? One of them was eight and a half or the, the larger one, but the other three were smaller. Okay, why is that? I, that's the size that I got. Okay, so did you go to a printer or did you go to? I went to Staples. Okay. I'd suggest with any map that I like, there should be one, everyone should get one nice copy on 11 by 17 by on cardstock and, and that to be your format for the maps. Mm -hmm. Because then just bigger is better kind of thing. Yeah. Well, and that's what I thought, like um, the four quadrants map, I've got them out. I've got them laminated. We're ready to roll. And that was my thought with these ones as well. Um, so yeah, I'll have to go and see if I can get the other three enlarged and then I laminate them. I just laminate one set for, for the office here. Okay, perfect. Um, okay. Um, and then it was more create the first process for bring people in. So um, looking at one of those, like again, okay. what we're looking at, right? So let's say this: the start is the hub factor, right? And then the second part is the uh, survey. Okay, yeah. And, the, and then the third part is their first meeting, like the interview. They have the the first interview. And then what I I what I was leaving to you is to fill in the other four parts using those maps that you sent. You could like, or, like maybe actually, yeah. I mean, maybe map them, maybe the first session is doing what you just did with them. I mean, to find out what people want is a huge thing because essentially yes. well, here's what you want. This is your first map. And this is the beginning of divining values on things. So it's kind of like a preliminary to the whole system. It's like something you can just do at the beginning with people. And I've got a nice version of it. I can send. Um, and that's the beginning of going, okay, this is what you want. We're here to help you, you know, to get what you want. I mean, pretty simple, right, yeah. pretty simple thing, but pretty powerful. 
Yeah, exactly. And so, so after, say, they've done their nine things, we would probably try to narrow that a bit more and say, okay, what are your three top goals for like right now? What's something that you want to work on right now? And then according to those goals, um, it would determine if they would maybe work with um, Christy, you know, if, if the goal was, okay, I've got this new business or I have all of this um, stuff going through my head and I just need some clarity so I could see like, you know, so, okay, so then Christy would be the one that you want to work with and you need to talk to her to sign up and, you know, figure out a schedule or if it's a, you know, somebody has, so I'm just trying to determine, yeah. right? Because that's what we were working on last week. Yeah. And I like this process better than what we talked about last week, like us, us women right. uh, as a thing. And so if say one of their goals was, well, I need to get, you know, my money situation is just not good. So I need to create an income that will sustain me to the lifestyle that I want. Okay. So then in that respect, they would work with Lori. Right. Right. So, so this process, is there a step after this process? So we, we send them home with this and then would we send them say like a survey again, or do we? Well, no, based upon, based upon what they want. Yeah. And then the crescendo would sort of be, um, cause, cause you said in Michael Gerber's book, the, the e-myth, he said, you, you never give your presentation and your needs analysis in the same things. Basically what you've just done is a needs analysis, right? What do they want? Right. So then yeah. they come, they do that. They have a session. It's, it, they pay for that session. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth thing is they come back and then you give them a, a, a presentation on what you, you guys think is, is the plan. Because in the survey, you're going to kind of find like you're, you're going to find out their interest level, their budget. There's like the survey really tells you where they're at. So the survey is telling you where they're at. And then the mm -hmm. second, and then the next step is, is, is telling you what they want. Right. And so between, between that, you're going to have a good idea of what to present them in terms of a program. So then, then you have to have a program design where it could be like two sessions with you, two sessions with Lori and three sessions with Christy. Mm -hmm. So there you're, you're looking at, okay, how much, what's their budget? How many sessions and what, what do they need? Cause they could go, okay, we're going to get you a, a flow map value system. Then we're going to get you, um, you know, wh whatever else, not just my stuff, but then you're going to give you an Enneagram assessment and you're going to have uh, two sessions with Lori looking at your Enneagram number. And then you're going to like, again, depending upon what they want, what their main goals are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that's perfect because, um, what we talked about last week was almost that. So this will help define their needs. And what we did last week was um, we all kind of sat around the table and said, and we used Kaylee as say the new client. And we each went around the table and said, you know, I, I can, like Christy did her spiel on sh how she can create, um, turn chaos into, into clarity. And Lori went into her, her spiel about how she can um, change those money beliefs and integrate the personalities. And then I went in, into how I can, with my mindfulness, how I can kind of, um, release that stress and bring a little bit more calmness in, into their life. Um, and we kind of did that role with Kaylee, but I forget what her need was. Oh, her need was, um, she was, she's in a dilemma of 
curling and doing downhill skiing or something like that for the Olympics. So that was the concern or the question that she brought forward. And her need was to figure out, um, to help her figure out her path. But yeah, I like this better, but you also, without even knowing, um, brought our conversation that we had last week forward to kind of fit the bo fit both of what we, yeah. Very good. Yeah, because it was funny, it was an intuitively, I found that and it, I hadn't seen that in a while. Then it was all of a sudden, that's that's the next step. Like I'm really being guided. Like it's it's uncanny, you know, that. that uh, Things that are coming forward. Well, I find like it's, I have to be, it's custom designable. So I have to be in your field. We have to have an agreement that this has to, you know, I'm there to help set this up for you, right? right. So the field of energy creates the need, like I'm, sort of vibing you and I've, each person I'm with is very different. And so it's kind of like each step yeah. of the way, you're just kind of trying to, and I've, I haven't had the chance, right, to have four people this committed and this kind of operational to do okay. this with. So I'm taking like 25 years of work now and going, okay, well, which piece, which, and what's missing? And so doing a lot of work in the background to, to sort of put pieces together. And then in the moment, it's like, okay this is this is it so i would just this is what going to work i i would suggest that you know guidance your own intuition you don't have to have some huge structure a program if you have a whole no. bunch of tools because then you can just sort of pick from your tools and go okay well i i think this is this next i mean you guys are getting something different because you guys are going to get a guided process that is right. taking specifics and utilizing it so you can repeat it in business you know i'm an inventor so it, for me it's 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 like I'm always inventing things, but you know, they, they have to go in your hands and the tools has to be used by you in such a manner that you can repeat it. Right. And then have right. value for your clients where they're coming out going, wow, because as soon as you got that process set up, just like you say for automation, it's just like, okay, we've got to set it up. You do this then this, then this, then this, and then it becomes very simple, right? We, we want to create simple processes that, that really create a lot of value for your clients. Yes. Yeah. And that's perfect. This, this, this was perfect. This was a great needs analog, analogist and using the, the value cards and, and all of that. Yeah, I, I liked it. And so I'm going to bring this to the girls and, and show them, say, this is a great tool for after, for after to bring somebody forward. Yeah. And the first person we're going to do this with is probably that young girl, Melissa who wants to be involved somehow but is unsure and um yeah i think this will be an in for her okay yeah i'll send you a copy of the nice version and then um there's something i want to talk to about you guys because i think that you all need nice versions of all the maps done up and so you've got them really nice but that mm -hmm. takes me time to do it so it's like an add-on in terms of cost and so right, I, yeah. I, just, I just want to make sure that we're on board about kind of like things I'm working on that are just my own time, things I'm working on that are specifically for you that I, I can get paid on and then the individual coaching kind of thing. So that's just okay. something I like to clear so, up a bit later today too. Yeah. Well, no, that's awesome. Um, you tell us when and what you need and what, what you're feeling and all of that. And yeah, we're, we're pretty open to supporting you the way you support us. So, okay, great. That's awesome. Um, we're meeting at three. Yeah. Which is what, an hour from now? Uh, two hours from now. Oh, oh, we're meeting three, your time. We're all thinking three, our time. Okay. So two o'clock. Okay. So in 45 minutes. Okay. That, that's what we're all thinking. So that's, we need to when we're setting times that we probably need to clarify that because yeah we're all three o'clock our time okay that's fine i can do that that's okay yeah okay okay great awesome and uh i'll see you soon bye-bye okay bye